Boys and girls, and welcome to the return of William D. Cheryl. And that's me! Now, boys and girls, if you can recall, last season kind of ended on pretty bad notes. Um, the producers were kind of being a little. But we got that all worked out. It's, uh, it's me, Will. Hey, Will. Are you calling to renegotiate your contract with us? Actually, I called you for a different reason than, uh, to renegotiate a contract. Really now? So, what are you calling about then, William? Yeah, you know, I was just talking to my, uh, my lawyer. Uh -huh. And, um, apparently, since he, because he wasn't there for, you know the whole signing of the contract and the negotiations. Yeah. Um, under some kind of, uh, I forget what it is, like a, a loophole, as you will. Under that loophole, uh, I technically don't work for you and never did. Okay. And basically you've been stealing my money and I can sue you. You wouldn't sue me. Actually, I very much can. So you better give me the rights to the show or else I will sue. Okay, okay. Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to give you the rights to your your show again. We're not going to produce you anymore. And you can sign with anyone else, no matter who you want it to be. Yeah, that's what I thought you would do. Bye. Bye. Anyways, let's just move right along to the first activity of the day, the word of the day, which for today is Shypod. Shypod is when... Um, a Shypod is when... A uh, Shy... When you got an iPod that has music on it that you are ashamed to show anyone. <laughs> Let's move on to a joke. There was once four kittens. Each of them lived in one house. They There was an orange one, a gray one, a... Siamese one, and a colorful one, um, and they all had problems with each other. They would fight, and they would, you know, puke on the rugs, and then, um, Let's move on, boys and girls, to the news. This just in. We have someone here to talk to you about the news. Go with the news guy. Hey, y'all. Uh, thank you, Will. I just would like to say that I am grateful that I am doing the news here on your show. Because, like... I've got many brothers that have been on your show, you know, and, um, I was waiting for my time. As you can see, I got a burger and a drink, and that's probably why you haven't used me yet. 
Wasn't that great, boys and girls? The news? Let's move on now to my favorite part of the day, and hopefully yours. What's it called, boys and girls? No. Try again. No. It's the Big Book of Wonders. See, I was hoping you could get it, but we've been gone for a while, so I understand that you might not. So, that's why I helped you. The Big Book of Wonders. Let's go! Hello, and thank you for coming to this educational program today. Right now, I'm going to tell you a certain thing you might like. This right here is called the penis. This one is called the vagina. Sometimes these two things like to get together and do this. However, sometimes penises don't like vaginas, so they go for other penises or their friends at least. However, vaginas sometimes like each other as well, and that's all good. And other times, penises and vaginas get together with another penis and do this. This has been an educational program presented by William D. Sherrill. Bye, boys and girls! Welcome back! <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Uh, here's Will. Hi, boys and girls. Wasn't that a fantastic story? I think it was. But let's move on to an interview. Hey, it's been a while since I've seen you. Ain't that the truth of it all, Will? What do you think of the relevance of this question? Well, the relevance of this question is very important because as long as my head looks this way, um, you know, yeah. The relevance of this question is very good, because it's a question, ain't it? Do you have any new things coming out, like an album or um, a movie? Uh, must you always throw that into my face? No, I don't have an album or movie coming out, because the fact of the matter is, I am not famous. Right, I, yeah, I, I forget that you're not famous. Um, well, I think that'll do it. Yeah, yeah, I guess that will do it. Uh, it's good to see you, Will. Yeah. Yeah, good to see you, too. Alright, bye. Alright. Now it's time to move on to a phone call. Go with the phone call. And then hey. listen to my vagina, and they listen to mm -hmm. a of a head of cock, and they listen to hula dee da ba da doo chin Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, not really. I couldn't really understand you that well. So, we're just going to move on to a letter. Dear William D. Cheryl. That's me. I have been happy these last couple of months because I have realized that your show is over. This letter is over because clearly my show is not done. Look at me. I'm right here on camera doing things for you. I'm here to stay, folks, for a little while. Now it's time to move on to problem solving with William D. Cheryl. Let's go. Oh, okay, boys and girls, here's the deal. What we got here is a typical, well, kind of typical uh, pie chart. It doesn't really matter much what exactly is the information is on this pie chart, but because basically we just need to figure out the percentage of everything. Which is, it's very simple. In the blue, we have 25%. Uh, in the yellow, it's 25. In the red, um, 25. In the green, it's 25. Um, 
And then over here in the pink, it's 3%. Um, if I do my calculations right, that's 103%. Um, that's impossible. So obviously this pie chart is not possible. It, it can't be true. Unless, of course, you happen to be, oh, I don't know, in a class with a, t a certain teacher and um, you and that teacher uh, wind up having some fornication. Yeah, that's the only way. If you fornicate with your teacher, typically the teacher will give you a higher percentile in the class. If you already have 100% in the class, 103. It's that easy. Well, boys and girls, this has been a fantastic week, don't you think? We've done a lot of activities. We had a word of the day, which was shy pot. Something that I can relate to. We had a joke that just seemed more like me trying to talk about my cats, but didn't know how to execute a joke with it. We had the news presented by someone else. We had a story that brought us here to my face. We had an interview with a guy that I know, and have known for a while. We had a phone call that was pretty un incoherent. We had a letter from someone who clearly, you know, doesn't know anything. And then problem solving, which brought up more questions than answers. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed yourself this week. I know I did, and see you next time on Storytime with William D. Sherrill.